This is the underside of the wiring access for the white 277. And there's this spot where the cord was pinched in the cabinet. Um, but otherwise the cord is good down to the controller. And then here's the strain relief spot where it's clamped for strain release. And the cord running out of the cabinet is kind of kinked in a few places, but then it's got the end here that's been just taped in place. And obviously that's no good. Uh, rather than get a new cord end, uh, I am going to cut this off and replace it. grab the wire clipper that I had. Here's the clamping spot where it's strain relieved, so we'll trim that off there. And then separate those wires and this is the old soft rubbery insulation so it's not real resistant to heat and it's a bit harder to cut because it's so rubbery but uh, we're gonna then apply heat shrink tubing when we put this back together. So we'll just throw those heat shrink on there and oh, duh. cut the end off of our cheap dollar store plug. And then I've got fat heat shrink, so that's going to go over the other side. And that way I can solder these together in a butt connection like that. And then heat shrink each individual wire and then a big heat shrink over both. And that will hold everything together. Uh, and then this side will go under the strain relief under the cabinet to hold it from getting tugged. So, got this cut and ready to go. I am going to uh, set up to solder this. And uh, go from there. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I've got my cord uh, propped in place here, the wiring coming out of the bottom of the cabinet, and then this arm is the holder part of a helping hands soldering jig, and it's holding those two ends together so that I can
All right. <sighs> My soldering gun is going to be like this, apparently. So guns like this, the tip will oxidize under the clamps and then they won't uh, have enough current to heat up properly and usually if you just readjust the clamps, they'll get proper contact. And then I say that and uh, this won't work. All right, well, you see what I'm trying to do. I will figure this out and get it done off screen. Okay, I think my uh, soldering gun is working again, but this is the pinch point on that control wire that goes up into the cabinet. And we're gonna just cut the spot where the insulation is damaged. Hiding out down in there. Ooh. Here's something, when you strip these wires, you have to be careful, because I cut and got the inside of part of the insulation, and so now this wire is just stripping itself all the way down. Uh, so fortunately, since I'm gonna be covering that with shrink wrap, or shrink tubing, that will be re-insulated, but you have to be careful when repairing wire of this age. See how that's stripped all the way out? So, take a look at these when I'm done with them. All right, repairs. The cord, this is the one that goes into the controller. There was a kink that was cut here. Soldered together, uh, shrink wrap, or shrink tube insulation. Replacing the cord that went outside that had a bum end on it. Just a extension cord from the dollar store. And shrink tubed after I soldered it together. So the 277 wiring in the cabinet is fixed up and I will have to work my hands in to get it uh, reattached in there under the clamps.